says that uh, as we as we assume that it always has been previously so they go back to the, the number of wins the number of second places etc etc but if all else fails and everybody says the same on these two games then it is the overall classification which will be the high place for the two and it is David Bell but bear in mind there's another climb to go so it might yes. be a little bit more complicated indeed because there is the final climb of the day with still a further three points to be won on Farthing Common Indeed. Well, this is Goudhurst, a beautiful Kentish town as we see it in uh, all its summer uh, glory. The crowd here, and many of them cyclists, of course, who have climbed this hill many times, uh, are now seeing the great Tour de France come by as they go through Goudhurst and the church of St. Mary the Virgin on the right there. And the flag indicating they've got a crosswind at the moment. A little bit of help required here, this is CSC's rider Kurt Atal Arvest, former under-23 world champion, just off to the right of our picture, winner of the Cape Arvest Pick and Pay cycle race in uh, Cape Town. Five and a half minutes at the moment. Well, I think the King of the Mountains competition is certainly going to go down to the final climb of the day, another three points available at Farthing Common at the moment. Uh, David Miller is uh, likely to be the wearer because he's the highest placed man in the overall classification. And Big Jensvoik, those thighs tapping out the tempo. I think they've done it on every continent in the world. We've seen him do this in Australia, in America, where he's also won races. I've seen him 